Okay. You want to bring it on? Well, let's bring it okay. on. Okay. It's questions. time to answer what some of have? your email right, questions. This is Douglas who says, is it ever okay to take someone to court? My wife filed for divorce earlier this year, and it will be final on January 4th. But last month, she moved out and took all of the money from our joint accounts. We had several agreements to be fair and civil, but she's been very hostile and demanding over the last month. Is it okay to take her to court to get some of the money back? You know, as I read the Old Testament, they had judges set up. The whole There was a judicial system throughout the country. And people who had disputes came to the judges and let the judges decide. And we have a judicial system in this country. People have disputes, and they, 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 they differ over the interpretation of contracts. Well, what did you agree to do? Well, I, I agreed to that. No, you didn't. I, you agreed to this. And so you go before a judge, present the, the evidence, and then there's a ruling. Or if you want a jury trial, you put on the circumstances, the jury decides. But that's a peaceful way of settling uh, disputes, and there's nothing wrong with it. As Christians, we really aren't supposed to sue our brothers. But at the same time, uh, God doesn't just want us to be doormats. And in this case, your wife took advantage of you. She stole your money. And uh, I think there's nothing wrong as long as you don't have hatred in your heart. If you have hatred in your heart, it's a bad thing. But if you say, look, I I'm just want to get a resolution of how much is mine because I really need the money. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I, that, <clears throat> having said all that, that's what the Bible says. We <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, this is Dara who says, I want to begin praying diligently about everything going on right now with our nation. Without complete comprehension of everything we're facing, can you give me a simple explanation of prayer strategy for the United States and Israel? Does it make sense to pray the same prayers daily? It's hard to pray about something so complex that you might not understand, but I definitely am a prayer warrior, so I want to be praying about these important events. The Bible says we don't know how we should pray as we ought, but the Spirit helps our infirmities, and we pray with groanings which cannot be uttered. And I think to get before the Lord and begin to groan for Israel, to cry out for this country, and God Himself will put in your heart the specifics, if there are specifics. But He knows what's in your heart, and He knows you're crying out. You're crying out for an answer. And I tell you, this country is in desperate condition, and it needs intercessors who would cry out. All right? This is Lisa Pat, who says, Please help. My husband is addicted to pornography. Isn't this a form of cheating on me? It hurts me, and he knows this. I feel like I'm being cheated on as he enjoys those images so much. What should I do? Uh, pornography is an addiction. But it's also a type of adultery, because uh, you're having sex with these people, uh, I think a lot of pornography is frankly just boring, but if, if your husband seems to be enticed by it, that's something else. Mm -hmm. uh, but nevertheless, um, I, I, I really believe it's a form of adultery, and you don't have to stay in that. It's humiliating to you. It's debasing to you. And uh, I, I think you, it's grounds if you feel so inclined to get a separation and wake him up. But I tell you, it is a hard, hard addiction. It's every bit as hard as heroin or cocaine uh, to, to, to get free of that thing. And he apparently is, is, is seriously hooked on it. All right. This is Debbie who says, My son-in-law and I were reading in the Bible as to what is clean and not clean for us to eat. We're very unclear as to what God wants us to eat that's clean as far as meat. Can you please help us out with this? Yeah, the Bible says Jesus made all foods clean. Uh, that there is no clean and unclean. Uh, if you go back and read what it is, there's certain kind of sh shellfish that are bottom feeders. That they, they feed on garbage. That's why a lot of people have allergies to crabs, for example. They, they eat garbage off the bottom of uh, lakes and uh, rivers and so forth. And that garbage gets into their uh, meat, and then you eat them, and you, 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 you have a reaction to the garbage. And uh, so the Bible says that you should eat f just that which has fins and, sc and scales, because that's what goes through the water and, and, and is clean. It's clean because it's healthy for you. The other brings disease. So that's what it. That's really the main purpose of, the, of those dietary restrictions. I think.